Hello, guys. Good evening. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello, Esmeralda. Abigail. Hello, Miss. Manuel, Gladys, Nancy, Christy. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Good night. Yes. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Okay, perfect. How are you today? Fine. Thank you. And you? I'm fine too. Good. A little bit cold because of the weather, because of the rain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes, I am fine. Thank you, Nancy, for asking. You're welcome. <laughs> So are you ready for today's class? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Yes. yes. Perfect, yes. Did, you, okay. did you practice in the platform? Yes. Yes? Um, yes. yes. <laughs> ah, Manuela, huh? <laughs> Just uh, a little bit? No, no, sorry. Okay, but you can practice tomorrow, okay? Or after the class. Okay. Or after the class. Okay, I think we're going to start, right, with today's class. Uh, today, we will continue working with uh, Be Going To, right? But I need you to uh, remember what we did yesterday, right? So what were we talking about yesterday? What was the topic that we had yesterday? We were working with months, date, what else? Los meses, la fecha. ¿Qué más hicimos ayer? ¿Quién se acuerda? Holidays. Holidays, okay, very good. What else? Holidays, what else? Nurse going to. The use of going to. Thank you, Nancy. What did you say, Christy? And subject. Subject, okay, very good. Very good, Manuel. Okay, so yesterday we were working with vocabulary, right? Vocabulary about months, dates, and also holidays. Structures, okay, what is the structure that you remember, Gladys? Um, subject. Subject, uh-huh. As verb to be. Subject plus verb to be, okay. What else? Plus going to verb. Okay, subject. And plus complement. Okay, subject plus verb to be plus going to plus complement. Okay, very good. Okay, that's what we have, right? Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus uh, Plus verb plus complement. Perfect, that's perfect. A positive form. That is the positive form, very good. And what is the negative form? Esmeralda, do you remember? What's the negative form? If we have the positive form is this, right? We're gonna put it here for be going to. This is the positive form. What is the negative form, Esmeralda? A subject plus bird to be uh, uh -huh. plus uh, not plus, plus not uh -huh. going to going to plus ver plus complement plus ver plus complement okay very good complement perfect this will be negative form right okay perfect so you were supposed to do your homework right platform would be going to. So I need you to tell me one example. Let's see here. Um, Abigail. Abigail, are you there? Yes? No? Gladys? Hello? Okay, Gladys, can you give me one example? One example um, in the positive form. Okay. 
I am listen to music. I am listen listen to music. To music. Okay. Now, Gladys, I need you to pay attention to this. Is this example is this example the same as this? Tiene la misma fórmula esta? Subject plus verb to be plus verb plus complement. Mm -hmm. well, going to. Okay, we're missing going to. So what would be the correct answer? That is. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the correct answer? ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? I have subject. I am, right? I. I. Going to. I am going to. I am going, going to, to going to what? Listen. Listen. To music. Oh, music. To music. Very good. Okay. I am going to listen to music. Very good. That is perfect. <laughs> you see? Easy, right? Sorry. No, don't worry. No se preocupe. Don't worry. Okay. So this one. Este es para calentar motores ahorita, right? So, <laughs> Tell me, tell me an, another example. Let's see here. Mm, I have Manuel. Manuel, give me one example. De los que escribieron en la plataforma. Um, okay. Um, Manuel and Catherine, and Catherine is, is uh, no, are going to uh, are going to eat at uh, China World. Oh, fancy, very good. Rollitos. China okay. China. Uh -huh. Are going to eat at China Walk. Very good. You use at most of the time with places, right? Very mm -hmm. good. Manuel and Catherine are going to eat at China Walk. Perfect. Very good. So another example, let's see. One volunteer, un voluntario, one volunteer. Yo, yo, buenas noches. Okay, hi. Ay. Okay, what's eh, your example? Ya, eh, yo la hice negativa. Okay, Ay. yes, negative form. Dice, Gabby and Ana are going to run this Friday. Gabby and Ana are going to Okay, are not gonna room or Gabby going to room. Are not going to run to, this Friday. To run this Friday. Okay, very good. Very good. Gabby and Anna are not going to run this Friday. Okay, very good. That's perfect. I like it. Very good. Thank you, Angel. Now, who's next? Another person. Negative form. Another volunteer. Otro voluntario? Miguel. Okay, Miguel. Tell me, Miguel. Okay. They are not. They are not. Going to buy. Uh huh. In the. Of. In the. Afternoon Monday. The afternoon Monday. Okay, very good. Now here, Miguel, we're going to change the position. They are not going to buy by what? By food, drinks, uh, what? They are not going to buy drinks. What? Drinks. Okay. They are not going to buy drinks. Right. Remember that we need to add more information. Right. Si agregamos más información, va a ser más completa la, la, la oración que vamos a dar y va a tener más sentido. Right? So they are not okay. going to buy drinks in the in it will be on Monday afternoon. Okay? Okay. Very good. So Miguel, make the changes. Haga los cambios. Right? Okay. On Monday afternoon. The meaning is the same. El significado es el mismo. Right? The meaning is the same. 
but we need to make sure that we have this order. So you can say Monday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, um, Wednesday afternoon, and so on, right? Yes, así sucesivamente, and so on. So, do we remember what we did yesterday? ¿Ya recordamos que hicimos ayer? ¿Sí? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. We need to always yes. keep this in mind, right? So, this is the negative form, and we're going to continue working here, right? These are positives. In this example, can you see the example on the screen? Yes. In the example on the screen, you can actually see here, right? I am, you have here, this form is, re, is like a reduction. We have a reductive form. This, I'm going to be a teacher when I'm older. He's not going to play football anymore, right? So we have a contracted form, right? Estas son las formas completas, miren. Silvia is not going to teach. Entonces, cuando vamos a hablar de la forma reducida or the contracted form in English, this is what we're going to do. I need you to look at this, right? This part is go right now is complete, right? And once we change it, it's going to be short. Va a ser más chiquitita. So what are we going to do? There are two ways that we can do this. We can say, Silvia isn't, right? Silvia isn't going to teach, right? Is not going to teach a class at 8 p.m., right? Or we can also say, look at this, she's, she's not, going to teach a class at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Blah, 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 right? So, okay. I need you to pay attention here. Here, if you have, for example, the subject, you can put here, Sylvia isn't, right? But if he, you are going to change, right, Sylvia, and you're going to say she, right? You can say she's not. Esas son las dos formas que ustedes pueden contractar prácticamente en negativo. Silvia isn't or she is not. Right? Esas son las dos formas en las que lo pueden hacer. Okay. Si ustedes si usted dicen así, Silvia's not, se va a entender que este es posesivo. Entonces, usualmente no lo hacemos así. Lo vamos a hacer siempre con el subject pronoun with this subject pronoun. That's what we're gonna use to make it short like this. And then we have a sentence that is with a reduction, right? Okay, so okay. are we clear with that? Do you have okay. a question? Yes, so, so. Okay, let's, so, so. let's practice, Miguel. Miguel, how would you change this? The second sentence, it says here, Ernesto, right? Ernesto is not going to sleep after the class. How can you make this short? Uh, Ernesto isn't. Ernesto isn't. Very good. Ernesto isn't going to sleep after the class. Yay, very good. So how can I change this? Ernesto is I, you, we, they, he, she. It. What is Ernesto? I. I? Are you sure? Yes. No, it is he. He, very good. He. So what, what do I do next? He he's not. He's not going to teach to sleep after the class. Very good. You see? Right? Oh. ¿Entendemos yes. ahorita lo que estamos haciendo? Do we understand? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. very good. So we are going to do the same thing, right? With Gaby and Manuel, right? Let's see, we're gonna copy this. I'm gonna make it smaller. Give me a second. So Gaby and Manuel, let's see here. 
another person, another volunteer. Let's see your names here. Hi. Yes. Ah, okay. Hi, Adelaida. Okay, very good. Adelaida, what would be the negative form here? But short form. Gabby and Manuel? Gabby and Manuel aren't going to play soccer. Aren't, very good. Aren't going to play. Now, we're going to do something with pronunciation, okay? Esto sí. Vamos a poner, eh, poner atención a esta pronunciación. Cuando decimos esto, ¿pueden ver lo que estoy seleccionando? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, yes. Decimos, yes. decimos are not, right? Complete form. Are not. But if we make the short form, no vamos a decir eh, aren't, right? Vamos a decir aren't. 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 So, esta, esta E, vamos a tratar de no pronunciarla. Okay, we are not going to pronounce the, the, this E, right? Esa E la vamos a dejar en el olvido. Oh. Uh, very good. Who said that? Repeat. ¿Quién dijo eso? Aren't. Very good. Porque si decimos aren't, aren't. Va, a ser, va a ser más difícil aren't. que nos entiendan. Vamos a aren't. unir. Vamos. Very good. Very good, Nancy. Aren't. Aren't going to play soccer. Gabby and Manuel aren't going to play soccer. Very good. Aren't. Aren't. Very good, Ernesto. We're going to make sure like Thank you. that we kind of delete this, this letter, right? Like this. Let's pretend it's not there, right? Pretendamos que no está ahí. Gabby and Manuel aren't going to play soccer, right? Very good. And if we, I want to make the change like this, Gabi Emanuel is he, she, I, we. What is Gabi Emanuel? They. They. Very good, Christy. Very good. They. So they. They are. They are. Very good. They are not going to play. Yeah. Soccer. Blah, 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 blah. Right? So we see here that we can do this. And we can do these two, right? Okay, very good. In this case, the pronunciation, right? They are not going to play soccer. They are not going to play soccer. You always forget the E. They are not, they are not going to play soccer. They are not going to play soccer. Very good. Right? Okay. So are we good? Do you have any questions? Preguntas? Do you have any questions? No. No? Okay. So we continue here. So we saw yesterday positive, negative form, right? And we are going to work here, right? To remember that we use going to, right? To talk about future plans, right? I'm going to write my homework tonight. They are going to watch a film or a movie this weekend, right? Tenemos que siempre recordar que el uso del going to o be going to es para hacer planes futuros, pero planes que usualmente ya los hemos pensado, ya hemos decidido qué vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Entonces, o que tenemos evidencia de lo que va a pasar, eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. Entonces, si se fijan acá, we say, uh, you can usually make the negative in two ways. Right, he isn't going to ride a bike. He's not going to ride a bike. They aren't going to visit us. They are not going to visit us, right? So right now, what we're going to do, you already have your examples, right? Ya tienen sus ejemplos, los que ya estuvieron trabajando en la plataforma. So what are we going to do? With the examples that you already have on the platform, the negative examples, we are going to work right now this is here. Oh, give me a second. Abigail, no funciona bien el micrófono. Okay, no se preocupe, Abigail. Si tiene alguna pregunta, escríbala en el chat, por favor. Okay. So, we are going to practice here in groups because do you have your, do you have your notebooks? Tiene sus cuadernos, sus ejemplos? Yes? yes. So, okay, yeah. very good. So, 
In groups, what we're going to do today is that we're going to move to the groups and we are going to make the contraction of those sentences. Vamos a hacer la forma, ahorita lo estén en forma completa, complete form. And I want you to make short forms, okay? For the sentences that you have. But you're going to see, for example, let's suppose that Nancy is going to work with Manuel, right? So Nancy and Manuel are going to read their sentences and then they are going to say, okay, Nancy, I think this says, Nancy is going to cook um, eggs tonight, right? So what is the negative form for that? The short form, Nancy is not going to cook eggs, right? Tonight, there's a okay. negative form. And what is the short form? Okay. She isn't. She isn't, Nancy, right? Remember that we're going to make the change. Tiene la oración en negativo, right? Mm -hmm. Y la oración en negativo la van a hacer con la forma contractada, con la forma que está reducida. Todos okay. lo van a hacer así. Okay. ¿Entendemos qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, okay. Noemi, Susana, Esmeralda, is it clear? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, very good. Lo van a hacer en grupos. Lo van a hacer en grupos. Grupos okay. no más de tres, right? Okay. Vamos a irnos a los grupos y lo vamos a hacer con las oraciones que ya tienen. No van a hacer nuevas oraciones porque ya tienen las que trabajamos en la plataforma y solo, solo, lo único que van a trabajar es hacer la forma contractada de lo que ya tienen. Por ejemplo, mi ejemplo de ayer es Silvia is, go, is not going to teach an English class. So mm -hmm. she isn't going to teach, right? That's the okay. short form. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. ¿Estamos listos? Yes. Yes, yes. are we ready? Okay, good. So okay. we're going to work here. Give me a second. Okay, perfect. I will see you in each... Uh, Group in a minute. Dos minutitos para trabajar en esto. Let's join the, the, the groups, please. Click on accept the invitation. Okay, let's go, let's go. Very good. Okay. Abigail, Ángel, Miguel, por favor, únanse a los grupos. Please join the group. Join the groups. Miguel, Abigail, and Ángel, please join the groups. Únanse a los grupos, por favor. Miguel, Ángel, can you hear me? Can you hear me? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Ok. Ahora Miguel, por favor. Perdón, maestro, estoy teniendo problemas con mi internet. Se queda pausada la imagen. ¡Auch! Mi internet está mal. Es por la lluvia, entonces. Eh, eh, váyase entonces, eh, Miguel, si puede, eh, únese al grupo. Ángel, eh, ¿qué le pasó? Ya, ya estoy aquí. Se me había trabado el celular, dígame. Ah, ok. Entonces lo voy a mandar a un grupo ahorita, ok. Ah, gracias, gracias. Ok. Dele aceptar a la invitación. Miguel, lo voy a enviar de nuevo al grupo. Ok, Miguel está. Tiene que darle clic a la invitación que le acabo de enviar, Ángel. Ángel. Hello, Ernesto.
Ernesto, I need you to click on the group, please. Hi, how are you? Hello. So far, so good? Todo bien? So far, yes. so good? Okay. Any questions? Do you have a question? No. No? Okay. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay. No pude entrar al grupo pequeño. Ok, ya lo voy a mandar de nuevo aquí al grupo, porque me parece que no, no se unió. Vamos a ver acá. ¿De la aceptar? Le voy a aceptar, Ángel. Ok, creo. Okay. Sería su cumpleaños, ¿verdad? Ajá, your birthday. Your birthday. Teacher, Ana, listen. In this case, en el caso de Gladys, para decir, para celebrar su cumpleaños es her birthday. Her birthday uh -huh. is, ok, uh -huh. her birthday is, is going to be, or is going to be on, Right? Her birthday is going to be on, and then you give the date and the month. Okay? Ah, la, la formula. Mm -hmm. la, la formula. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But you're going to use going to. Her birthday is going to be on and the date. And the date. Okay? Anna isn't going to celebrate. Celebrate. Her birthday. Her birthday. Her birthday on. And then you give the date. On um, September 5th. Okay, very good. Lo voy a dejar un ratito, okay? Tengo alguien que se Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Her birthday on. Hello, Noemi. How are you? Noemi, can you hear me? Hi, Noemi. I'm going to send you to a breakup group, Noemi. You had breakfast at seven thirty a.m. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See. Si. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Correct. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not going to have breakfast at seven thirty a.m. tomorrow. Very good, Jesse. The only thing that you need to say, um, um, I'm not going um, to, um, yes. Um, because if you say, um, 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 I'm not going um, to. Very good. Um, okay. 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 Any questions? Alguna pregunta? Any questions? Do you have questions? Uh, yes. Uh, is is not se pronuncia isen 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 very good yeah. but you're gonna make it fancy okay. you see isn't isn't, isn't. Oh, okay suavecito isn't 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 okay. very good isn't. miguel you have a question Estoy entendido, despacito. very good perfect así me gusta okay. okay lo voy a dejar un ratito me voy para el otro room para el otro grupo Okay. Okay. La, la oración que usted puso sería... Bueno, como 
lo tengo a usted también, Manuel. Sería... Uh -huh. eh... Yo igual lo tengo a usted. <risa> sí. Sí, aquí lo tengo. ¿eh? He isn't eh... going to read a book. Yeah. He isn't going to... Very good. Very good, Manuel. Ah, thank you. <risa> You're welcome. Eh, sería con, con usted, Manuel. Sería, he's, he's going to clean the house. Ajá, correct. He, ok, now make it short. He isn't going to be oh, in the house. He isn't. He isn't. He, Recuerden okay. que estamos practicando la, la sí, sí, sí. La forma completa ya la practicamos ayer y hace ratito. Ahora queremos practicar la forma más cortita. Right? This is his. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't going to buy a car. Very good. Going to clean the house. He isn't going to clean the house. Perfect. I like that. Very good. Vamos a dar un aplauso aquí. Very good. Right? <laughs> okay. Lo voy a dejar un ratito y vamos a terminar en un minuto. Ok? Okay. Okay. Sí, es cierto. Yo sí creo que... ¿Tienes preguntas? No, no, teacher. Are you sure? ¿Están seguras? Sí. Yeah. ¿Sí? ¿Cien por ciento? Dígame si tienen alguna pregunta. No se preocupen. Ahorita que estamos en grupos chiquititos. ¿No? Claro, estábamos comentando de que cuando es una pregunta se antepone el ver to be y después va al soya. Ah, uh, sí, y eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita. Uh -huh. Eso es okay. lo que vamos a ver. Ah, no, pero okay. ya tenemos formulada la... las preguntas. Ok, yeah. very good. Eso lo voy a ver en un ratito. Ya vamos a terminar. Ok. okay. Hello. <laughs> no. Estoy en mute, that's why. Ah, por eso. <laughs> Estoy hablando yo sola. Okay. How was the practice, people? Was it good? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Good? Very good. Very, very good. Very cool. good. Okay, cool. Very good. So, we're going to continue working here, right, with the question forms. And the question forms, I need you to look at what we did in the previous class, okay? Vamos a trabajar con la forma de eh, las preguntas. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Alguien me estaba preguntando, y mire las preguntas, ¿cómo son? So that's what we're going to do, okay? In the questions, right? Can you see my computer? No? Not yet? No. Okay. Vamos a ver acá. In the questions that we're going to make, right? Siempre con going to, right? You can okay. see that the formula of the questions, it's mm, very easy. Very, very easy, right? So what do we do here? Vamos a agarrar una oración de las que ya hicimos. Aquí por aquí tenemos una. 
Vamos a agarrar la de Ernesto. Okay. Tenemos la oración de Ernesto y queremos hacer una pregunta porque, pues sí, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer preguntas que podemos contestar con un yes o un no, right? Eso es lo que queremos hacer ahorita. Entonces, tengo la, la oración, I have the sentence, right? In the positive form, right? And I want, I'm going to make this sentence, I'm going to make this sentence a question. Y lo único que vamos a hacer en la pregunta is the following. We're going to have for the question, verb to be, right? Verb to be, plus the subject, right? Plus going to, plus the verb, plus the complement, right? And, and something very, very important, is the question mark, right? Si no le ponemos question mark, mm -mm, no es pregunta. Es una oración mal hecha. O sea que vamos right? a poner going to be antes del nombre. Yes. No going to be. Solo el verbo to be. Solo el verbo to be. Right? Entonces tenemos verb be plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. The verb be, para que no, no nos confundamos. Verb be, plus going, to, plus subject, plus going to, plus verb, plus complement. So on the top, we have a question. Are you going to do anything this weekend? So verb be is are, right? Plus the subject. What is the subject here? If I have, are you going to? Are you going to? Subject mm -hmm. here. Are you going to do anything this weekend? If verb B is are, what is the subject? You. you. Very good. Mm -hmm. Right? Is you going plus going to plus the verb is do plus the complement. Anything this weekend? Weekend. Plus the question mark. Right? Question mark is very important. El, el signo de interrogación, question mark. This is very, very question important. Question mark. Exactly. Right? Question so, mark. Question mark. Yeah, question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question, question mark. Se escribe así. Question mark. Se escribe question mark. Se lo vamos a poner por acá. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Mark. Okay. Mark. Question, question mark. 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 Exactly. That's the question mark. Question mark. That's the name, right? So, if I have this this formula, right? Verb B plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. I need to make this sentence a question. Vamos a hacer la oración de Ernesto. Le vamos a hacer pregunta, right? ¿Cómo podría ser yo? ¿Cuál es el... Dígame ahí, en esa oración, ¿cuál es el verbo to be? Ernesto is going to sleep after class. Is. 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 Very good. Is. Ok. Is. Plus. Yes. The subject. What is the subject? Ernesto. What? Ernesto. Key. Ernesto. Ernesto. Key or Ernesto. Ok. Cualquiera de los dos podemos usar. Y or Ernesto. Plus going to. Going to. Sleep. Going to what? Sleep. 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 After the class. After the class. After class. Is that correct? No. 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 Question mark. I need a question mark. Very good. Yeah. So the 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 answer can be right. Is he going to sleep after class? Is Ernesto going to sleep after class? Right. So that's the formula that I have, right, to make the questions, right. But for these questions, I need to have answers. 
ya te damos el tipo de preguntas que vamos a hacer. Ahora, con ese tipo de preguntas necesito respuestas. ¿okay? Y vamos a, dar, vamos a dar respuestas cortas. We're going to give short answers. Right? Not long answers, short answers. So, for the short answers, tenemos dos tipos de respuestas. Positive or negative. Right? So we have positive or negative. What is the word that we use for positive? We say yes. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Very good. Yes, he is. In the negative form? No? No, he's not. No, no he's no, he he not. Isn't. No, he isn't. Very good. Oh, yeah. Vamos a usar, en este, en este caso, vamos a usar la forma contractada. ¿Por qué? Porque es una respuesta que la queremos corta. Entonces, si decimos he's okay. not, queda larga. Right? Queda completa. Okay. Entonces, sí, es como que estuviéramos haraganes para escribir, entonces lo hacemos cortito. Right? So, is okay. he going to sleep after class? Yes, he is. Is he going to sleep after class? No, he isn't. Ah, okay. Right? Okay, very good. So I have this. Ya tenemos las oraciones. Necesito que me ayuden. Y vamos a hacer esta. I need a volunteer. Okay. Ya tengo la... Okay. Okay. Are they? Are they? Are they? One person. One person. ¿Quién comenzó? Esa persona que continúa. Are they? Yo, yo comencé. Okay. Good. Are they going to play soccer Sunday afternoon? Are they going to play soccer Sunday afternoon? After. Question mark. Question mark. Okay, what are the answers for that, Nancy? Short answers. Sorry? Short answers. What are the short answers? Ah, yes. Um, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. Very good. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Aren't. Very good. Right? Very good. Como tenemos grammar, la grammar la vamos a tratar de utilizar lo más uh, accurate, lo más perfecta posible. ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué, qué, okay. ¿cuáles son las cosas que nos vamos a fijar en estas preguntas? El question mark, que comencemos siempre con capital letter, con letra mayúscula. Y que en las respuestas cortas, después del yes y el no, tengamos una coma. Yes, coma, they are. No, coma, they aren't. Right? We have to make sure that we always give this type of answer for these questions. Right? Because these are short answers. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Okay. Very good. So we'll continue here. We have questions. Look at the questions that we have on the on the video. We're going to watch the video right now. So I need you to pay attention. Vamos a ver el, el, el video porque ayer solo vimos la mitad. Hoy tenemos que completarlo. Y, ten, y necesito que pongan atención a todos los tipos de respuestas que vamos a dar. Ok. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna wait. Al parecer el internet está lento. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Thank you. It's loading. <laughs> okay. We're going to work in here. Thank you. 
No quiere trabajar la compra. Ok. Yesterday we watched like half of the video. Let me know if you can listen to the video. Hi everyone. In this class you learn how to... ¿Pueden escuchar? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Vamos a poner todos los, los micrófonos en mute para que todos pongan, podamos escuchar bien, por favor. Y luego continuamos. Okay, right here. The future would be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement, anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart, are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are, the subject is the waiters. After that, 
we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb sing finally we add a complement to you and a question mark at the end now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to think about your plans for the weekend and write them down do as many examples as you can after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums okay so we just watched the video right and you can see that the questions and the answers that they have in the video are almost the same right so we're going to uh, work right now Vamos a trabajar un poquito más y vamos a ver en el eh, acá ustedes ya pusieron todos sus ejemplos si pueden ver en la en la pantalla. Mm -hmm. 